My chapter is in ruins. The sector is at war. Its worlds under siege. Chaos spreads, consumes us all. Here, we will make our final stand. Here, there will be retribution. Ten years ago, we Blood Ravens destroyed the demon Alcair, ending his schemes to rot Subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the Sector. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets, Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard, the Hammer of the Emperor, was deployed en masse to the Sector, to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number, and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the guard's ranks. Now the Sector sits helpless, racked by constant, endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Araya Kairos, our chapter master and chief librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers, brothers unaware of the chapter master's secret allegiance to Alcair. A corrupt space marine chapter master, a militia crippled by disorder and turmoil. Demons. Renegades. A sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, cleansing every planet of the Sector of Life. Xenos and human, corrupt and innocent. All is not yet lost, however. Adrastia, Inquisitor of the Ordo Hereticus, has entered the fray. She knows the truth of Kairos's heresy, but has not the power to halt the coming storm short of destroying the traitor herself. With the authority to combat the enemies of man by nearly any means, she is gathering any force she can muster. Allies among forces still loyal to the Imperium, and even enemies with a common interest of preserving the Sector, if only for future war. We can only hope she finds suitable allies, but hope is, of course, the first step down the road to disappointment. Reporter! Status reporters busted, Captain! Vesquez the cruiser has been shot down into that jungly planet! Typing, I think they calls it! Yorks! Destroy the orcs! We cannot tolerate their interloping! Pointy Eldar! I'll crumb you good! More pointy elements for me, trophy rack! Well, hey, everybody! What's this? Fancy tarts close. I can feel, sir. Young Master Spookum should be around here somewheres, too. He's not one to miss the stomping. Let's find him. Oh, and Snickety Eldar you find on the way. Flash 
Well, this is Dawn of War 2 Retribution, specifically the Orc campaign. Figured, uh, you know, it might take a little uh, break from crap to actually play something a little bit fun. So we're going to be playing as uh, pirates. We're playing as the Free Buddhas, which I think is a uh, Dawn of War 2 specific thing. They're not really a specific clan of orcs or anything like that. Right now we're under control of, uh, you know, two of the main heroes, which is Captain Blood Flag, which is the war boss, and uh, his first mate, um, Mr. Nailbrain, who is a mech boy. For those of you who do not know, a mech boy in the, uh, the orc world is basically the guy that does all the repairs and creates all the fanciful robots. All right now, we, uh, we've just crash landed on Typhon, which is, uh, as they point out, a jungle planet. And we've lost most of our crew. It's basically just, uh, you know, the war boss and uh, nail brain right now. We're going to be increasing in numbers, though, fairly quickly. Smash it! Oh, there he is! I fought a sneak again, it'd be harder to find! Give him a kick and wake him up! So yeah, uh, this is another one of our heroes, Mr. Uh, or just Spookums. And we're gonna go ahead and revive him right now. Basically any of our uh, main heroes can revive uh, downed uh, other heroes. Uh, that was just a Did you really get doffed by these pansy gits? Or are you just sleeping on the job? Oh, that hurts me really, Captain. I'll never get doffed by pansies. Maybe you should snatch up your armor there! It's embarrassing! So we will go ahead and snazz up his bits here by improving his health. To improve somebody's... to improve a uh, hero's health costs requisition and en uh, energy. We'll get into that a little bit later. But yeah, he's got more health now. <laughs> These gits just made the classic blunder! Attacking an orc who hadn't found him already! Now we can stomp him faster! And stomp him good. You don't uh, ambush Captain Blood Flag and get away with it. Uh oh, it looks like uh, we got some garrisoned units here and a couple of uh, stick bombs, which are the, uh, the orc grenades. Takes quick work of them. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, boys, back to work! Wog indeed. Oh, don't just let him shoot you like that! I get behind that mess over there! Hey. Yeah, that was, uh. That was basically Captain Blood Flag telling us cover's good. Cover will basically decrease the amount of damage that uh, ranged units take. In this case, though, our two ranged units, who are Spookums and Mr. Nailbrain, um, they don't really have to worry too much about dying. Since this is still kind of a uh, tutorial stage, nothing really causes too much damage. Uh, still, though, Spookums has a shotgun, basically, or a special shooter, as the uh, orcs call it. And I think that... Uh, Mr. Nailbrain is equipped with a... See, uh, I don't think it's a death gun. I'll have to look more at that later. But we're making uh, good progress here. Nothing's standing in our way. That looks important. Boy, snag that base over there. We can call in some boys. So yeah, this is our first little base. We can uh, call in whatever units we have available, which right now, not that many, but, you know, more boys is always a good thing, especially uh, for increasing the WOG. But uh, before we can actually, you know, bring out units, we're going to need a requisition. As we can see, orc boys are going to cost us 250, and we only have uh, 175 right now. So we're going to break open some of these boxes, not selected as a waypoint, we're going to actually break them open. And we're going to get enough wa or enough uh, requisition to uh, call out some orc boys. 
Not only because orc boys are useful, but also uh, because it's necessary. Yeah, the first time the best part of the war is a good old mob of boys. Bad at darker, but great at stomping. In the middle of a fight, their kit can be customized with all sorts of gobbins to make them more killy. Yeah, some of the uh, orc words that some of you might not be familiar with, such as Daka. Daka is normally uh, referring to uh, ranged weapons, and orc boys uh, don't really excel in that. They excel in just melee and beating the shit out of people, much like the captain. Have some kind of fancy shooters up there. Let's demonstrate some brutal cunning and go round. Yep, let's let's go around. That's called flanking. Uh oh, looks like we're suppressed. Time to use a special ability. The uh, the main ability of Captain Bloodflag, as most war bosses or really any orc, is an ability called Wog. Or WOG! The WOG in this case, as it's uh, used by the captain, will break suppression, which is what that unit just did. And we got another cutscene, so I'll explain just a little bit. Hey, some local boys are poking around. Oi, use not! Use part of my crew now! Problems with that? You talk to the complaints department. That's me going. But yeah, uh, the the wog ability will break suppression, which is what the gun unit that we just faced did. Suppressing will slow us down, make us take more damage. It's generally bad. Thankfully, though, for the most part, units that do cause suppression will also be forced to uh, reset up if you uh, make them change direction from where they're firing. So usually flanking them will make it easier for them to uh, be dealt with. 